Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Oh, wow. That takes me back. At least Final Fantasy Spirits Within had something like... I think the problem is, is that they put Final Fantasy in the title. And that, I think, was a glaring issue right there. Yeah, I remember watching that as a kid and going like, what the fuck is going on in this film? It's like, this is nothing like Final Fantasy. No, I... I, I what? It, it, there's these these ghost things that, like, can knock out your soul on this planet and the, these tendrils. What? What? <laughs> It's like, if you just named it Spirits Within, that would have been fine. It's like, why did you need to throw Final Fantasy in there? It's Probably not Final Probably because I didn't think it would get any audience otherwise. I've never seen it, but children, so I don't know how to weigh in with that. <laughs> oh, I've heard a lot about Advent Children. Like, I've heard some, uh -huh. like, I I've heard opinions opinions you say yeah like i hear that it's like it's well animated but some people think that it's just a big like a big fan service of a movie but then there's some who think it's great it, it has a i think it has like a polarizing reception i don't know too much because i haven't played final fantasy 7 that often i've i've I your expectations based off that. Yeah, I yeah. have no. Sometimes even I question that. Like, um, hey Riley, you, um, have you seen uh, Resident Evil Degeneration? I haven't watched any of the Je Resident Evil films n at all. So. Okay, so um, to give some clip notes, the obviously the live action movies had nothing to do with the games. Didn't feature any of the original characters. It didn't have the original story. You could name it anything else. It was not Resident Evil. Uh, the movies that followed afterwards got ridiculous, far-fetched, and after a while, it just it, it started to become mindless cash-ins. Um, but there were CG movies that Capcom did, one of which was called The Generation, and it took place between Resident Evil 4 and 5, or four and, uh, 3 and 4. Long story short, it's um, it follows the same direction in the game universe. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but there's people who actually hated it. And I don't know why. I I don't know. People are weird sometimes. I shouldn't say that. I'm weird. We're all weird. Normal's boring. Normal's boring. Life's more interesting when you're weird. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. What else was supposed to be coming out this year? Let me look. Films of 2020. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the new Bad Boys film. Uh, like, I saw that it had a good reception, but after Bad Boys 2, I was already done. I never really watched the Bad Boys series, so I couldn't really weigh in there. You're not missing oh. too much. It's basically like one of those buddy cop movies like Beverly Hills Cop and such, but the first or one was out hour. of... Yeah, it was like, it came out of the 90s. It was okay. And then there was the sequel. Oh, God, that movie was just fucking gross. Oh, no. Yeah, and the movie was a lot longer than it needed to be. And one scene that still really pissed me off, they had a scene where both uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are, they meet a kid at a door who's supposed to go out, like, on a date with one of their kids. And obviously they had that, that false sense of insecurity, like any protective father would have. And what they do, they go waving the gun at him for five minutes while saying the N-word and constantly referencing, like, chitty chitty bang bang and uh, move bitch get out the way. It was not funny at all. It was just like, don't you guys think you're overreacting? Well, I mean, I think that's the joke. I hated it. Well, if it's not, it wasn't funny to you, but maybe, I don't think it would need to be funny to you. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. There's that Togo film on Disney Plus. You've heard of Togo, right? No, I haven't. Okay, so you know the original Balto story? Uh huh. 
in, in actuality, the entire like um, antitoxin run from like this area of Alaska to another area took like multiple days, and there was it was multiple teams of dogs that did this did this run, and the one that the dog that actually did the most work that led a bunch of the runs was a dog named Togo. But Balto got all the credit because he was the one who who was the last dog to bring it to the town itself. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember uh, finding out the truth about uh, the Balto story. Yeah, the thing about Togo too, he was when he was the first a pup. They never thought he would be a good sledding dog either. Wow, this sounds like it would be Balt. Uh, this sounds like a story that belongs to him instead of Balto. Yeah, exactly. I think yeah, Togo deserves more credit. <laughs> Add that to my wish list to watch later. Ah, <laughs> uh, what else was coming out this year? It's January, February, March, April. Green Knight. Never heard of that. Oh, that's right. Soul was supposed to be coming out in June. I'm really looking forward to Soul. You know what I'm talking about, Golden, right? What's up? Uh, Soul's supposed to be coming out in June. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I just, I'm interested in that film just from that premise alone about doing what you love and shit. Ah! Ouch. Wait, there's a fifth Purge film? Well then. Uh, Mulan comes out in July. <laughs> I've heard a lot of negative things so far about Mulan. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Oh, that's right. The Bill and Ted sequel comes out in August. Bill and Ted? Yeah. Wild Stallions. <laughs> oh, the guys who go, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, with, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Keanu Reeves. Reeves and the other guy. Yeah. God, Keanu's almost 60 now. He, he, he ages like fine wine, man. I, I swear he's a vampire. <laughs> I swear that guy, he, he aged so well. I want his jeans. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no! Oh my god! All right, there's a Monster Hunter film? Oh god, yeah, I heard about it. It's it's the same director who did the Resident Evil films. Paul W. S. Anderson. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. No, I, I I got issues that, with him. That, I mean, he, at least he's not Uva Bowl. Uh, the thing with Uva Bowl is that I think people rightfully like hate him for a lot of things, but Paul manages to get away with shit. Yeah. Oh, he did Alien vs. Predator? Yep. The one where I they're like all around thing. in a warehouse. <laughs> no, they're like in some underground pyramid, if I remember correctly. Yeah, part. but in the making of the film, it's all inside a warehouse, and you can tell it was just inside oh. a warehouse. Okay. Huh. Uh, apparently with the Resident Evil films, there was originally going to be a script by George Romero. Yeah, and he was going to follow closer to the game, but then Capcom fired him and replaced him with Paul. And Paul Why did his... would you fire George fucking Romero? Yeah, you see... The there's... guy to find the zombie genre in film. Yeah. Um, there were some changes involved, some of which were kind of stupid, but still closer to the game than having nothing to do with the game at all. Yeah, like... I don't get that. Why would you fire George Romero? Jesus. Yeah. So you can you can kind of see why I have a chip on my shoulder with the Resident Evil films. Yeah, I kind of get that. 
And the thing that makes it more like, I, I, to me, like, as far as any game adaptations go, what's insulting about that one is that it could have been really, really good. Like, Mario Brothers, yeah. It's not properly adaptable to, like, a live-action film. They tried to do that uh, with the whole dystopian city and everything and tried to, like, follow the same, like, formula of, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and such. The problem with that is that TMNT has always had that that dark, gritty-like sort of look to it. Mario Brothers didn't. It was always bright and colorful. Yeah. But it's just like, I can already tell, like, that's just already a movie that's just a disaster waiting to happen. But Resident Evil had so much potential, and it could have been good. It could have been a major exception to the whole game adaptation category, and yet it didn't. And that's what makes it so insulting. I can understand that. Yeah. Get back here! Get back my... Ch All right, the new Candyman adaptation is coming. It's being directed by uh, was it, uh, Jordan Peele, if I remember correctly. Oh God, if it's Jordan Peele, yeah. um, <laughs> Get Out, anyone? Yeah, Get Out. Uh, what was the other one that came out last year? Um, fuck, I forgot the name. Anyways, I, I'm looking forward to that because I'm a big fan of the original Candyman film from the '90s. And Tony Todd, man. They're bringing back Tony Todd. I love Tony Todd. Who's Tony Todd? He was he was the original Candyman. He also does a lot of voice work too. Oh boy. Oh, Tony Todd, man. <laughs> Whoa! Let's see. Let me look. It looks so weird that there's no background. I see a bunch of butterflies and dragonflies. <laughs> Oh, that's right. He was Dreadwing on Transformers Prime. I forgot about that. 